Okay, this is just another question asked by the student. Right, so this is a fun function question for SPM IMAX. Alright, this question this kind of question actually I explain quite quite a lot of time already. However, yeah, let me just explain one more time, maybe trying to make you understand better. Alright, so in this kind of case, uh it's a little bit different because it gives you GX and then it gives you GFX in and then the question asks you to find fx. Right. This kind of question is different because sometimes if you give you fx and gx, ask you to find the com composite function, gfx will be simple. But in this uh this kind of question is moving backwards. Alright. But then it's not really hard also. Alright. So first thing, whenever I got this kind of question, uh another question give me composite function. Most of the time I will solve from the composite function itself. Alright, so in order to solve this kind of question. Alright, so the first thing is I write out the composite function which is given x plus 2 over 3x. Alright, and then if the question want me to find fx, maybe I let fx become the m. Alright, you can be become any alphabet, it doesn't matter because m is just a constant in this case. Alright, so when fx equal to m, you have a you have a look here. This is gfx, right? So I can call it gm. Alright, I can call it gm because now my fx fx become m ready. So here is where we continue. 2x. Alright. Then I do not uh, do I have the g function? Yes, I have the g function. But then this but then this one is gx. This is gm. So what I need to do is if I change this one to gm, what will happen is whatever x here I can change to m. Do you see that? gm actually equals to m minus 2. So gm equals to m minus 2. So it equals to x plus 2 over 3x. Then what is my objective here? My objective is to find fx. If I want to find fx, I need to find, I want to make m as subject because m represents fx. Right? Isn't it? So I just move the negative 2 to the other side. So m actually will equals to x plus 2 over 3x. Plus two, all right. You can leave this one as an answer, or actually you can join. Uh, make this one have the same denominator. This is over one, right? So you multiply three x. You multiply three x. All right. What is my m here? My m is f x, which is I let just now. Then I can join here. So now this one is three x. So this two multiply three. I got six x plus x. I got seven x plus two. Done. All right. This is a very simple question. However, you have to understand yeah, the pattern of, of this kind of question. Alright, so I hope this question can help you understand about understand better about function. Alright, it's not really hard. Anyways, thanks for watching.